Four years ago, I had an experience that literally changed my life. I caught a tarpon in Texas. I'd been to Florida many, many years searching for that 100 pound plus tarpon and I never found him. I went to Texas and believe it or not, on my first cast, I sight fished to a 160 pound tarpon, hooked it, jumped it, and landed it. It literally changed my life. When my production company gave me the opportunity to shoot a tarpon show, I'm on. Yeah. Oh, right. I chose Texas. Yeah. They all yeah. looked at me like Sweet. I was crazy, yeah. but yeah. I knew better. Yeah. Way to go, Scott. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> all I said is, fellas, trust me, if we get this one, Good job, dude. Good job, Scott. What can I do? We will have filmed uh, the first fly rod caught Let's tarpon in the state of Texas. Good job, Scott! Good fish. Big fish. Go ahead and pull the anchor line after you get real okay. out. I also asked them to give me seven days to do it. And you know what we did? Good fish, dude. Way over 120, 130. We caught that big boy the first afternoon. Big fish, dude. Big fish. She's coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Good job. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo, Scott! Since that time, I have been very curious about what those tarpon are doing in Texas. I'm not very happy, man. I finally met some like-minded people. Scott Offord called me out of the blue to ask me if I'd be interested in being involved with this tarpon tagging tournament. <laughs> of course, I was ready to go. This is why I was so excited about being a part of this tarpon pro-am tournament. This is not really a competition as much as it is a study. It has a little competition in there to kind of keep it fun, but the goal is to learn and get educated about what these fish are actually doing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! See how baby. That one's good. Woo! Excellent, excellent. The whole reason that this tournament is organized is to try to place these satellite transmission and archival tags in Texas Tarpon to track their location and Dr. Alt can give you a little more information. It's a continuous recording uh, device, a computer that records time, depth, light level, salinity, and water temperature. It has a pre-programmed um, device on it that allows it to separate from the fish. Essentially the tag part stays in the fish the dark part, the tag separates and goes to the surface. This is an upward looking Argo satellite antenna and when it reaches the surface the satellite tag begins transmitting all the data that's been archived during the time it released to a satellite and it's emailed back to us at the University of Miami where we can do analysis on it. But it's uh, migration patterns of tarpon and habitat use over the Gulf of Mexico, uh, eastern United States and the northern Caribbean Sea. Off beside the cool. boat. I mean, just a foot <laughs> off the boat. Cool. Like the dolphins knew he had a camera. <laughs> nice. You can imagine what a 150 pound jumping fish does to me. Sweet job. And let me tell you, when you see your first tarpon in the air, it's a moment you'll never forget. Good job, boys. <laughs> got him? We got him. Okay, guys. All right. That's a good fish. That's the biggest fish I've seen today. That's, that's your first start. That's my first That's a good way to start. Oh, got him. Got him. Doubled up. Here he is.
live right here. There's a leader. Yeah! KT, I've just received another text message from Jim Farley's team with Tag 3. It popped off on schedule on January 30th, just south of Tampico, Mexico. These little buggers are on the move. Back in the 30s and 40s, Texas was considered the top tarpon destination in the United States. With the information we're gathering through this tournament, we might be able to get there again. There's one thing that a lot of people in Texas don't realize. The original name for Port Aransas, Texas was Tarpon, Texas. What does that tell you? And if you don't believe me, go to Port Aransas to the Tarpon Inn and check out the scales on the wall. I love Port O'Connor. I love what goes on here. And believe it or not, on this particular day, seven boats jumped 37 tarpon. But please, don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm.